Another swine flu death is being reported in Chavez County. A teenager with underlying health conditions brings the statewide number of swine flu related deaths to 13 this year. The swine flu or H1N1 has people on edge with lots of questions, but now there's a group of nurses at Presbyterian Hospital on the line with patients to see if they need treatment or if they're better off staying home. This group of 10 nurses with Presbyterian Hospital have taken on a new role in the last week. More than 200 people have been hospitalized for the swine flu in New Mexico, causing a sense of panic with the first signs of any virus and generating a lot of questions. Oh, my child has a fever, they're coughing. I don't know what to do. Should I go in to be seen? Uh, do they need a vaccine? You know, what, what about the Tamiflu? There's lots of questions. So Presbyterian put together the nurse triage line. The first thing our uh, patients want to do is go in to see their doctor and, you know, recommendations have been stay home if you can help it. And they answer questions for our patients, which really prevents them from having to come in if it's really unnecessary. Susan Dezabel is one of the nurses in the triage line. She says more than half the calls they receive are from patients who are better off staying out of the doctor's office and away from sick people. Dezabel says it also helps get sick patients the care they need faster. You get a few in a row that they're all really sick and you say, oh, good, get in right away. And that helps them get in quickly as well. So it also has that other effect, is getting people in the need to be seen a little more quickly. This is the second week of the nurse triage line. Officials say it's working well. They say there's been about a 20% increase in call volume in the first five days alone. The majority of those patients have been advised to stay home and recover, keeping them from unnecessary exposure to sick people and getting those who are sick feeling better sooner. This service is free, but it's only for people whose primary care physician is with Presbyterian.